Whites. Saturday night with the Chili. <laughs> Saturday night with the old guy. Eli, sure. Hey, Eli, welcome to, you know, Saturday night with uh, the old guy. <laughs> Going to be making some chili. Yes, sir. I hope you're doing well. I do, I do. I had my brother Doug. I don't know that he'd be watching. He's been on the road. Uh, but if he happens to catch the episode at some point, hi, Doug. Hi, Sharp. I hope your travels have been safe. And, uh, yep, making the old uh, cornbread and chili tonight. Some little news coming up here about my puppies, but I'm going to have my dogs. I guess I'll wait here for a little while. See if any other folk decide to pop on in tonight before I get rocking too much. Mm. Natalie and Nicole. Natalie and Nicole, welcome to the uh, Old Guy's Kitchen. Saturday night. <laughs> Gonna be making the um, good old fashioned chili with beans and some cornbread. Um, not getting too fancy with it. Uh, just some good old fashioned comfort food for a winter's night. <laughs> Which reminds me, I suppose I'm gonna just get my oven going here. Uh, that way, you know, it'll actually bake my cornbread. Eli says he's having a little hair of the dog. A little hair of the dog, eh? Hair of the dog. You know, if you if you were to really try to think about that and just you know take it really literally, you know, having hair of the dog. I mean, <laughs> but I know what you mean in, in terms of the you know of like uh, a hangover or whatever. You know, you drink a little more. So, Hair of the Dog. <laughs> that was a good song by Nazareth, too, back in the day. If you've never heard it, you should listen to it. All right, so um, I'm not going to wait too long just because, like always, this is our dinner. And I don't want it to take forever, so i got to grab some milk out. And let's build some cornbread first. This has got to sit for a couple minutes before I actually throw it in the oven. So I'm just going to grab all my crap here. See, I'm starting to learn. Uh, in the past, I would, you know, start digging for this stuff in the cupboard. That didn't work out too well. So now I'm just kind of keeping it out. You know, I'm going to try and pull it out so that uh, when I want to do something, <laughs> I don't get lost in my own main kitchen. Any jalapenos in the cornbread? Um, you know, not this time. I, I normally do. Um, I like to take fresh ones and kind of cook them down with water and a little black pepper. Uh, so they lose their heat but keep the flavor and I'll mix those in. Uh, but I'm making such a small batch of cornbread tonight. I didn't I didn't really figure You know It would, it would be worth the uh, the hassle of cooking the jalapenos like that, but normally yes <laughs> Like father like son. Hey Tom, what's up my friend? Well, hey man, how's it going? Like father like son. Salute. Is it just you or is son watching too? <laughs> Chili and cornbread sounds amazing. Oh, it is going to be amazing. Let me pull my bowl over here. Uh huh. So, um, and I, I actually kind of keep the recipe kind of handy. I don't always make cornbread, so there's some things I can just make from memory all the time, but you know, other things. Not so much. All right, just wanted to melt that butter a little bit. So where's my? There it is. Okay. He said they're all there, and wifey. Oh well, hello, wifey. <laughs> all right. So let's get started here. Uh, I'm gonna use some blue cornmeal uh, this time. 
Crazy Dad. Hey Tom, what's up? Tim, welcome! <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, you know, is Uncle Wild Man Less with you tonight? You know, is you know, Nate watching? <laughs> Janice is here. Janice, hello, boy. We're uh, we're filling up. I may have to make more chili and more cornbread. I don't know if I got enough for everybody. <laughs> like father, like son, like son, and like wife. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm going to use blue cornmeal this time. Uh, works with any any cornmeal you want to use. But uh, okay, so. Instead of regular flour, uh, I'm gonna. I made. I found that using. Let's see, which one is it? The third. Using uh, this sweet rice flour, uh, Janice, that you sent in place of regular flour. Um, number one, it makes it gluten free for those that are want to be that way. But uh, it actually keeps a. It makes a better cornbread. It, it, it's a little more tender and it stays moist. It doesn't get real dry and crumbly. So, okay, so uh, there's the cornbread. There is the corn, the rice flour. What else here? A uh, couple of tablespoons of sugar, and that's the one thing I left over here. Mmm. -hmm. wants to know where you stand on the beans and chili debate. What do you mean where I stand? On, what exactly? Is the debate, and then I'll let you know where I'm stay where I stand on it. I'm not exactly sure there. I didn't know there was a debate, so uh, fill me in. <laughs> okay, there's some sugar, some baking powder. Tim and Uncle, or Tim and Nate are here. Uncle still's not feeling good. Oh, well, I sure hope he does soon. All right, so I'm gonna get uh, three quarters of a powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. Yep, and I think just about a third. What is it? An eighth teaspoon of the baking soda. Let's see here. That's close enough. Steve Russell's here. Steve Russell, welcome to uh, Old Guy's Kitchen, Saturday night. I'm just putting together my cornbread for cornbread and chili. I'm going to get this mixed up real quick, and then I'm going to get right into building the chili itself. Uh, but, hey, man, welcome. You know, pull up a seat, sit down. Uh, you know, we're all just uh, kind of sitting around the kitchen, <laughs> swapping stories and like father like son says it's got to have beans in it in the chili or it's just pasta sauce ah, i see is that what the debate is, is whether it's chili if it has beans or not um yeah so i'm on the uh i'm on the favor of uh, with beans i'm definitely a, a beans fan on that with one exception and that is uh, the chili with no beans on a hot dog is okay with me just because they kind of get in the way. But, yeah, you know, if they're there, I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> you know, I said some people, especially in Texas, don't think chili should have beans. Well, that's Texas for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> all right, so I got all egg and milk in there. Blue corn. I will be topping this off with a little bit of this local honey. I'll show you here in just a second. Steve Russell like, wants to know if you like it spicy. The chili? Absolutely. Absolutely. I do. I like your spicy. Mm. Easy enough to put stuff away. Not so easy to find it in a hurry. So. <laughs> I can get a couple of these things out of my way real quick. Make room for other stuff. Okay, I'm going to have just a little bit more milk. It's a bit too thick. Just that out. 
got some. Eli says he loves the musical fruit. <laughs> the, old, the old musical fruit routine. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm just going to set it aside for a few and get a couple of these things out of my way. The dad cave. What's up, everyone? Dead Cave, welcome. <laughs> just got, just got through mixing up my uh, the batter for my blue corn uh, corn muffins, and uh, I'm just now going to get ready to start getting the chili rocking. Just kind of cleaning the area from my uh, cornbread making here. So Crazy Dad wants to know is the myth true that local honey helps with allergies? That what helps with allergies? I'm sorry. Local honey? Local honey? Uh, it, it, it can. I don't know. You know, I'm no, ain't no doctor. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just a guy that knows how to cook a couple things and uh, they can have it. I don't know where she got it, but as long as she don't start tearing it up, we're, Mrs. Old Guy is talking about this little rubber ball that they're playing with. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a little bit of onion. Just want to give it a rough chop. I've got some half a pound of ground beef just kind of just kind of sitting here in the pan, waiting to get cooked up. I'm not making a very big batch of chili. You know, it's me, me and Mrs. Old Man. You know, I says I bet you guys in Colorado have amazing honey. Oh, uh, <laughs> this particular honey, um, we know the uh, the people that this comes from, and um, she was telling me that when they spun it out this when she spun it out this time, she thought that she got too much wax in it and I suppose for most people um, it would be too much but I really like it. Um, the extra wax in the honey gives it more like a butter type of texture. A hundred honey butter type texture it melts in your mouth better. Um, it's got amazing amazing flavor. So it's, it's her honey that they, they got the hives and all that so Pretty cool stuff. Uh, most of the time they get uh, the bees will go to like uh, local apple farms and um, other places like apple orchards and cherry and apricot and peach and all the other ones they grow around here. So, okay. So I'm going to get that ground beef out and just kind of plop it in there. And I got my onions, throwing them in there. Let's get the heat rocking on that. Dad Cave loves making chili, one of his favorites. Uh, me too. It's, you know, uh, I don't eat it all the time. You know, but, you know, but when I, when I do, when I get a hankering for it, it's like, man, you know, I'll eat it for a couple of days or something, you know, make chili dogs or uh, chili burgers or whatever, even just a bowl or two of chili. Let's see. Uh, kind of get this busted up just a little bit, get it going. This isn't going to take long. Nope, nope, nope. Get that busted out. It looks like I'm about ready to. Scoop out these uh, cornbread mixture into some muffin pans. All right, I kind of busted it up just a little bit. Okay. I'm thinking I'll get about a half a dozen muffins out of this little batch I made. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. Uh, paper cups here just because I don't really feel like scrubbing the the pan later. 
Just being honest with you. Oh, cornbread usually doesn't hold up real well this way. All right. So I trust that, uh, and it's been a couple weeks now or a week or so since the holidays. I trust everybody has uh, had a good one. They're, you're, all, you're all still around. That's a good thing. I'm glad you're all uh, decided to take time out of your weekend. You know, stop by and say, hey, the old guy. All right, let me get this thing cranked up a little bit here. Eli wants to know if you have a sloppy joe recipe. I do. It's not like I, you know, got it like candy right here. Most of it, I do. But, you know, if I was to give you, I'd rather like send you my recipe um, email. That way, you know, I give it, get it to you, right? If I try to give it to you now, I'm probably going to forget something. I always do. And if you want to do that, it's just old guy in Colorado at Gmail, and I'll hook you up with it or whatever recipes you need, man. Or at least that I use. Crazy dad likes <coughs> chili mac. He chili. always makes a side of um, elbow macaroni to make whole. Yeah, chili mac's good. It's been a while since I've had it. So, come on. All right. That one didn't want to cooperate. Um, hey, uh, Dad Gabe, I'm a boy. I'm embarrassed now because I can't remember your name right off the top of my head. But, uh, I'm, I'm glad you came in tonight. Um, I know you're a guy that likes to do the, do wood projects and, and so forth. Um, just wanted to point out these beetle kill cabinets that I built. Um, they're, they're all from rough cut timber and uh, all I had to work with was a table saw and a belt sander. Um, and, uh, so I built this cabinet and this cabinet completely. And I built all new doors for the cabinets here and drawer fronts. And then I cut my own veneers to cover the existing cabinetry that we had. So talk about a, a little project. <laughs> I put up the link for the uh, merch store. And Dad Cave says the link for your merch store takes you to the login screen for the Teespring. Okay. Not your local or your actual store. Okay. Well, but it shows a cup, uh, a mug there, so I'm not sure why it did that. Okay. Well, um, I'll see about which is the proper link. I thought that was, and thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that. And his name is Jared. I'm going to set that aside just for a second to finish getting these cups filled. The dad cave's name is Jared. Jared, thank you. I Sorry, Jared. <laughs> so I'm a thick old man, you know. It's a proven fact that once you get to a certain age, male brains start to shrink. You can look it up. It's scientific fact. And that's why we get grumpy and we forget stuff. It's because our brains are shrinking. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> You know, I said you're a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, the master of none. <laughs> <laughs> the dad came and said, nice work, Tom. <laughs> well, thanks, because I built zero cabinetry ever before. Zero. So I was, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. All right. So I'm going to set that for about 18 minutes. Well, all right. Let's see.
okay? I don't know why it beeped at me, but you know. I got a little relationship going on with my oven here, so I figured her out. All right, so I'm gonna just use some basic canned stuff. I do, on occasion, make my own beans, but this time I'm just going with uh, your basic beans, so what do you know? So I got uh, some uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. Throw those in. In that case, I'd like, a jewel, like the jeweler, not the subway guys. Hang on. Okay, say that one more time. He said his name is like the jeweler, not right, the subway right. guy. Jared's, yeah. Yes. Exactly. I need to remember that. Backseat Johnny, sir. Backseat Johnny! Welcome. And really, uh, if you want to tell me how to drive, please go right ahead, man. You know, you're all welcome, brother. <laughs> Making that chili, I got cornbread muffins in the oven. And. You guys said that you and Val need to record a song together. A song? <laughs> Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. So uh, the beans I got, real quick, like these are just your basic uh, tuners, hot chili beans. Not that they're particularly hot, but at least they got a little spice to them to start with. We'll see what I how adventurous I want to be tonight. You know. If I, if I want to just go cayenne hot, or if I want to go pull out the ghost pepper, I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, just going to kind of set those aside. So far, we're looking pretty good here. Let's see, is that hot yet? Yeah, that's hot. Let go. Bring this over, see if you guys can get a look at it. Let's see here. Can you see that part of the table, Mrs. Olga? Okay? Yep. Okay. Let me know if you can see that at all. It's kind of. you know, it's it's nothing you know, nothing too fancy, but it sure do smell good already. Okay. So I'm gonna start adding other stuff here. Start with some pepper. Got a couple different kinds going in here. I got some black pepper and some white pepper too. I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of each. Just love the flavor of white pepper. Alright. A little bit of oregano. I'm gonna put in Spoon of oregano. Got some paprika. Pap! If I gotta do it, paprika! Just, <laughs> just love to say paprika. Back seat, Johnny said, Yeah, that's right. I drive and do reviews from the back seat, not the front. On the back seat driver. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Jenna said that she has the correct link to your mer your mugs in the merch store in her Frankfurt hot chocolate bombs review. Okay, so if you're not uh, already subscribed to Janice's channel, that's okay. Subscribe to her channel and go check out the review that she just mentioned. And uh, she put a link to my merch there. So uh, that's a good. Thank you, Janice. Let's see here. Okay, that's the cayenne. I want my chili powder first. Get that stirred in. Chili pow pow. I'm going to go start with at least a tablespoon. You know what? I'm going to make that too. Boom, boom. 
We've also got some uh, uh, Chris Miller's uh, Everything Louisiana that I'm going to put in here too. If you haven't checked out uh, Miller Miller Time Family and Gardening, uh, you should check them out. Add some of his seasoning to this too. I'm going to add about a teaspoon. He makes these seasonings, they're really good. So he, that's going to go really good. In fact, I'm going to put another one in there. Got just a little cayenne in there for some heat. All right, speaking of heat, now I got some cayenne. I'm going to start with, we'll start with that teaspoon. It's already a little bit in the everything Louisiana. Turn that down a little bit, let it start to simmer some. Maxie, Johnny said nothing like homemade chili. It's like the car I'm in when I backseat drive. It keeps you warm and has gas. That's right. You eat some of this eat some of this chili, <laughs> you might have more gas than you think. <laughs> Yep, check out uh, Backseat Johnny's channel as well. Uh, exactly like he said, you know. I've seen a couple of his reviews, and uh, he, out of the backseat drivers that I've seen, he, he does better than most. <laughs> All right. This is looking good. Smells okay. I guess I gotta give it a little taste though. And what was I thinking? Moving my cutting board away. I'm gonna want to. Johnny will laugh and he says, OG makes me smile. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> um, what was I thinking? You know, we gotta have. A little diced onion to go on top of the chili, so uh, let me cut a couple slices here and dice it up. Sorry, Mrs. Old Guy. Homages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. It's not sticking to the bottom. It smells good. I will give it a taste here in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook a second at least here. Basic chili, you know, you throw in some jalapenos if you want, or habanero peppers. How hot you like it, you know. Ghost pepper and such. All right, I guess I'll leave that right there. Let's grate some cheese. What do you think, this old guy? Sure. Cheese on that there. Chile. Crazy Dad said, nothing like chili on a cold day while watching football. It, you know, you're exactly right. <coughs> you, you know, chili makes just about the perfect cold weather meal. Yeah. But, but there are other ones too, like, uh, all, like a nice beef stew, you know, or uh, chicken stew served up in a bread bowl. <laughs> Lots of good cold weather food like that. Absolutely. Haven't seen football though. Not for oh, how long has it been, Mrs. Old Guy? About eight years now. Quite a while. Yeah. John. Hey, John. Welcome, man. Just getting ready to uh, kind of. Eat some chili and some cornbread here pretty quick. I'm just grating up some cheese. So, yeah, get some grated up in the dish here. You know, he said he made some really good habanero pineapple salsa. Yum. 
Mrs. Old Guy and I make salsa just about every year. Uh, habaneros and well, and did he say mango? Yeah. Pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't made a pineapple one yet. I've, I've done several mango ones. Yummy. Pineapple sounds really good too. Okay, that ought to be plenty. Plenty, plenty. And this might be a little early to uh, to mention, but you know maybe not. Um, <laughs> uh, looks uh, very possible that we are going to have puppies in mid March. Mid March, and then puppies for for looking for new homes by mid May. Yeah, by mid May. So. Another exciting time coming up with puppies. Yay! Last time was a huge learning curve, and it was, in some respects, uh, uh, kind of a, a worrisome, very stressful time. <laughs> but after a while, you know, we kind of started catching on to things. So. John's going to ghost hunting in about an hour. Are you, John? And if I remember, uh, on Val's stream, you said you're going to go uh, ghost hunting in your basement. Is that do you, do you live like in uh, like in an, an older home or something where you know people have passed or you know? Just curious, what makes you think that you would find um, ghosts in your basement? Just. He's cooking chicken and dumplings also. Chicken and dumplings. Oh. The chicken and dumplings rest, uh, episode live stream turned out good too. Yeah, it did. That turned out really well. Oh, it, for those for those of you that are watching and uh, aren't subscribed, uh, go ahead, do me a favor, and just you know make that little red subscribe button turn gray. <laughs> and if everybody sitting in there would please just smack the like button for me, make the thumbs go up. It would definitely help out. I really appreciate that. Heck, I appreciate you even spending Saturday night here. <laughs> Crazy Dad said the Bengals just won their first playoff game in 30 years. Wow. Wow. That's a long time. <laughs> well, I guess good for them. You know, I know that uh, you know, I don't have anything against football or anything. I mean, I was a huge Broncos fan for, for a long, long, long time. So I can fully understand the enthusiasm and the, you know, the uh, happiness, I guess, that you can get when your team wins and, and, and so forth. Uh, believe me, I get it. it it's just, it's been so long now since we've watched it. I also said the Raiders broke his heart. The Raiders, well. Again. <laughs> I've always been a Raider hater. <laughs> Back in the day when I, you know, uh, the Raiders and the Broncos had a huge rivalry, and you know, I remember getting Mrs. Old Guy mad at me one night. Uh, they showed the old owner, um, Al, I think it was Al Davis, and uh, so I turned around and I dropped trowel and I moved the TV, um, and she didn't appreciate that at all. So. I didn't do that again. <laughs> okay, how much time is left on these? Oh, about three minutes. So we're going to... Yummy. I'll pull out another... Let's see here. Pull out a spoon. John said this house that he bought here was built on an old airport runway. Oh, okay. Old airport runway. Cool. Ty here. Tybalt, welcome. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you've has Tybalt been in before. Dear? I don't remember. I think so. Uh, welcome to the old guy's kitchen. Uh, we're finishing up on um, the chili. It's it's kind of simmering away, almost done and ready to go. My blue corn muffins are in the oven. They got like. 
two minutes or so. And uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen, my guy. See? Yay. Oh, and I'm, oh, as always, please, if there's something that you would like to see old guy make um, on live stream, just say something in the comments. Mrs. Old Guy will write them down and eventually I will get to them. And, you know, the more the better because, you know, I'm streaming every Saturday night. And, by the way, I'll let you all know now that uh, I'm going to have an extra stream this month on the 31st, uh, Old Guy's birthday. So, uh, I hope to see some of you there for that. Um, it would be uh, Monday night. So, You'll see the time and so forth. I believe I already have it posted. Uh, and I hope to see you guys there. <laughs> Backseat Johnny said that his girlfriend just got mad at him because he was about to moon the old guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tybalt said that he has been here a few times, but it's been a while. Okay. He asked how our dogs was and how I am. I'm They're good. doing good. Come here, guys. Hey, Chumley. Come here. Tybalt wants to see you. Come on. Come here, you. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. You big, you big oaf. Come on. Come on. Come up here. Come up here and say hi. Come on. Show me. I don't want to scratch. He wants me to scratch his butt. Come here. Come up here. Come on. There you go. Gosh, I'm right here. Let's turn this way for folks. Yes. It's Chumley the Wonder Dog. <laughs> oh, 140 pounds of it. Boink. John said to make a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. I could do that and just not put taters on yours, right? Yeah. Your part. You so, I make a note. <laughs> it's duly noted, John. Duly noted. Uh, I'm coming up on just seconds here. Pull this off. Heat. Uh, we'll just cross the old fingers that the muffins turned out decent. And then I'll, I gotta get my honey. I've been blabbing and I didn't get my honey ready. I feel done. Yeah, Eli loves chunk. He is such a good boy. Uh, our female Polly, she's, she's a rockhead. <laughs> now, uh, this is what I was talking about with this local honey. Uh, there's a fair amount of wax in there, but oh man, it is so good. So when you put it into a squirt bottle, yeah, it's a little too thick. You got to heat it up some. <laughs> so good. Tybalt says, ah, oh, I love your dogs. I miss my 120 pound Whisquai Labdor. Oh, Labs are such beautiful dogs. They are, they are. One of my buddies back in the day um, used to breed Labs. Uh, he, ha he had a, a black male and a blonde female. Bred them for a while and whatever, but beautiful pups. All right, let me get a little honey on these. A little bit, let that melt on the top. Yeah. Those look really good. Can you see the color on that, guys?
spread that honey out just a little bit. Ooh, yeah. See that? They look just great. Get them out here. Couple on your plate there, Mrs. Old Guy. Thank you. John said, how about chicken fried chicken and rice pilaf? Pilaf? Sure. Rice pilaf, absolutely. I wonder why, you know, okay, chicken fried chicken. Isn't it fried chicken no matter if it's, you know, if you fry and it's chicken, isn't it just fried chicken? I mean, I understand chicken fried something like chicken fried steak, but why don't they have chicken fried pork? They don't call it that. They call it a pork cutlet or uh, a schnitzel. <laughs> just, I don't know. Dumb things I think about. All right. Ted Walt said that he loves black labs and he could never own another black lab because it would be too hard. This profile picture is of his dog. I uh, believe me, I fully understand. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I can't go into it myself. So. All right, Mrs. Old Guy. Time to scoop you out some of this here chili tatey. Yum. Onions on there. Huh? Yes, please. Sprinkle some onions on there. Ty Vault says, can you make stir fried chicken with rice and vegetables? Absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead and make them. It's so good. All right. Let's show the folks here the bowl of chili, little onions and cheese on there. Talk about comfort food. Oh, man. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Here you go, Mrs. Old. Eli wants biscuits and honey now. <laughs> I'm going to give you your. Uh, muffins here, but I want to give you the ability to spread some butter on them. Thank you. So there's your pat of butter, knife, there's a little honey on that knife. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to guess I'll scoop myself out a bowl. It's a fairly thick chili. Looks good. And I, I didn't taste it, but I'm just going to go with the fact that I think it's going to be good just like it is. John said, or Chinese food including egg rolls. And Crazy Dad says, have you ever made chicken tortilla soup or shrimp bisque? Uh, yes to both. Love chicken tortilla soup. You can put that down. Put down the chicken tortilla. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Guess I'll pull up the chair. Uh, one of these here uh, green apple Mountain Dews. I guess there's places in the country where you can't get get the green apple Mountain Dew, and that's too bad because this is such good soda. Yummy. All right. Let's get a bite of this chili. That's good, just the way it is. It, it's got plenty enough salt. It's got a little bit of kick. No, nothing too major yet. Ty Paul says that he loves chili with corn tortilla chips. Oh yeah, be dipping. <laughs> be dipping, big John, time. John said he shakes his belly at you. 
John, I, <laughs> I should shake my belly back at you. Okay. <laughs> and Crazy Dad said the Green Apple Mountain Dew is awesome. It is. I like it so much. Yeah, see, that's what I was kind of afraid of, that this was going to stick to the paper, but that's okay. That is a good cornbread muffin. Eli wants to know what your favorite soda is. My favorite soda? Uh huh. Well, right now it's this Green Mountain, <laughs> Green Apple Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, as far as like just mainstream sodas, right now, seriously, this is the one, I, the, my favorite one right now. There are some other. Um, apple sodas that I do like um, one was a wicked something or other I can't remember the name right off the top of my head but um, it, it was an apple soda but it was a green apple soda it had a completely different flavor than what I expected and it, it was really really good so I guess I'd have to say my apple flavored sodas are my are my favorite I've had a couple that really suck. <laughs> Janice likes Cactus Cooler. I like Cactus Cooler, too. I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's so good. <clears throat> I got a little story about Cactus Cooler. <laughs> back in, when I was a kid, I know, back in the olden days, <laughs> Um, I used to watch the Flintstones all the time. It was one of my favorite cartoons. And there was one episode that uh, all day long at work, Fred had been kind of daydreaming about going home and being able to drink his last bottle of Cactus Cooler. And uh, just before he gets off of work and gets home, Barney shows up over at his house. You know, Wilma says to help himself, and he gets himself that last bottle of Cactus Cooler. That started a huge fight between the two of them. Well, anyway, months later, I was taking a trip with my parents. We were going back east. Or no, actually, we were going out west to see uh, my aunt and uncle. And we stopped at some desert kind of outpost sort of thing where you'd get gas. It was kind of like an Indian trading post sort of place. And I saw Cactus Cooler for the first time. And you know, yeah, I begged my mom mercilessly <laughs> until she finally bought me a can. But yeah, and I've been drinking it ever since. So yep, loved Cactus Cooler. <laughs> One of my favorites. Eli loves Squirt and Cherry 7-Up, mm -hmm. and John likes Big Red. They're all good. I mean, really, that's why it's hard to pick a favorite. Mm -hmm. really? Adelina yeah. Cole had tacos tonight. Tacos. Mm. Miguel. 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 Mm -hmm. Miguel. Is here? Hey, welcome. Welcome, really. Thanks for coming in and... To Old Guy's Kitchen. <laughs> Saturday night. I always cook something to eat. Uh, I cook Mrs. Old Guy and I's dinner. And a lot of times, it was like 99% of the time, um, we cook things that have been suggested by people that are watching. So um, please feel free to you know suggest something that you would like to see Old Guy cook for dinner. And this is, you know, I've only, you know, kind of give myself about an hour to do it. So I've had a couple of challenging meals. <laughs> um, and really, welcome. Um, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, come on, hit that button for me. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 250. And when I do, I'm going to do that Pocky One Chip challenge. So, you know, I've seen lots of people do it. Um, and so I want to give it a try too, and I will when I hit that 250 mark and it's coming up. So mm. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to get back to another bite of this chili. Like I said, it was, it's, 
It's got just the right amount of salt and pepper. Just it could use more heat. It could be a little spicier. But mm, it's a good all-around chili. I would say for maybe somebody that doesn't like heat at all, this might be what you would call a one-alarm chili. <laughs> I would cut this call it a regular, you know, chili. I, it, there's really not much heat for me. But still good. John said Big Red with uh, vanilla ice cream is good. Oh, yeah. A red float. You bet. Dr. Pepper is uh, Natalie Nicole's favorite. Crazy Dad's is Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I like that. That's the, that's the thing. There's so many that I like. That I really don't have a problem. <laughs> when, you know, if someone invites us over and they have a soda, hey, we've got an orange crush. Oh, sure. You know, I like Orange Crush. You know, I like RC Cola. I like Coca Cola. I like Pepsi. I like. Natalie Nicole. I like them all. Just a tater tot casserole. Tater tot. Oh, that sounds good. I could make it halfway. I could make a small one for me. Mrs. This, for some of you that may not know, Mrs. Old Guy um, has this like allergy thing to potatoes and she can't have you know, she can eat like sweet potato it's, a, it's something completely different but any regular you know white potato um, yeah she, she can't have it so and there's a lot of stuff that's got potatoes in it like we even saw a Jones soda that had uh, potato starch in it so it's in just about everything. And that's part of the reason why I tend to make from scratch most of the stuff that we eat. Um, just because of that, you never know what's gonna have, you know, potato starch, but not just potato starch, modified food, food modified food starch um, can have potato starch in it too, so. <laughs> So many things we gotta pass by when we see it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> Eli said he can't wait for your 1K Carolina Reaper. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh huh. <clears throat> we'll see if that happens, you know, if I get that far. <laughs> when that day comes. <laughs> so there's been some other things suggested, so I wrote them down. Great. Yeah, that green apple. And for those of you that are just watching for the first time or maybe only been here a couple times, when this first came out, um, I made a cheesecake using uh, this green apple or this uh, thrashed apple Mountain Dew. You should check it out. It was so good. <laughs> I, I've made it a couple times since then. Um, I just didn't, you know, bother videoing something I've already done. But, yeah, it's it's pretty tasty dessert. It really is. Crazy Dad said, be careful with that one chip challenge. He's scared of that. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little apprehensive. But, um, you know, I figured it's, it, can't, it can't hurt me too much. Especially after what I went through a few years ago, compared to that. These muffins, like I said, if they wouldn't stick to the paper so much, which is expected, but it's like I said, using that corn flour or um, rice flour instead of regular flour. It just made it soft and moist. It's not crumbly. You saw I had to kind of pull that apart. And it doesn't take away any of the 
flavor of the corn. I think just as a base on a general basis to make cornbread, just no matter what cornbread recipe you use, uh, just replace the flour with the sweet rice flour. Hmm. It really makes a difference. Eli said, just remember to put a roll of TP in the freezer. A roll of TP in the freezer. <laughs> 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 I think Johnny Cash sang a song about uh, the ring of fire, didn't he? <laughs> I guess I'll have to order that chip pretty soon. Yeah. So it'll get here in time for... I mean, I do appreciate everybody, um, you know, coming in and hanging out with me. It's super awesome of you. You know, I'm, I bet there is a lot of other ways you could spend your Saturday evening. So and the fact that you're, you know, giving some of your time to old guy here is, I appreciate it more than you could imagine. Well, I don't know, more than you could imagine? People can imagine quite a bit. So I'm just going to say a whole bunch. How's that? <laughs> Tyvalt said that he'll have to remember to use sweet rice flour. He's never tried it. It works really good for that, man. Mm. There's also some. If you've ever seen the corn uh, Korean corn dogs, uh, they use a rice flour batter that's completely different than like your cornmeal batter. Um, recently. Uh, Mrs. Old Guy went, uh, and I went to California. I'd seen Janice review these corn dogs, and so that was one of the things that I tried when I was there. And man, it was <laughs> a lot different uh, in flavor and texture than any other corn dog you're going to get. So they're not really even corn dogs. That's why they call them Korean dogs. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. You can find YouTube videos about that. Watch a couple and, and maybe give it a try once you get your rice flour. Rattle it on. Typeball said you're good people in the chat. It's fun. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. And I know that the people in the chat appreciate that. Try to keep it friendly. Try to have a little fun. Maybe uh, maybe next week I'll let Cousin Cletus cook. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, a yes or a no? Mrs. Old Guy will keep track. How many folks do you think are, uh, that are watching now think that uh, it would be a good idea for Cousin Cletus to cook next weekend? Let's see. Let's see how many yeses and nays, yays and nays we get. John says, I love you, Tom, and this is old guy, and everyone here, God bless, and God bless always, y'all always. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. And Tybalt said that he's never tried it, but he heard Japanese mayonnaise is really different. Japanese mayonnaise, yeah, I've never heard of it either. I bet it is very different. Maybe made completely different way. You never know. You never know. Well, I mean, I guess you know if you look it up or, you know, you know. <laughs> yes, 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 please cooks. Yes. Cooking sounds terrifying. Their cousin Cletus cooking sounds terrifying, he likes it. <laughs> he can get worked up. So it sounds like it's a yes. Okay. Very good. Well, then y'all can expect cousin Cletus to be here in all his glory. <laughs> 
next Saturday night, and I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not responsible for what he says or what he does, because Cletus is his own feller. <laughs> well, let's see here. <clears throat> That took an hour, right? You know, we said we cooked it up, made made the the muffins, cooked the chili. We sat here and had a chat, and it's been an hour. That's pretty good, you know. That's like you know what, maybe a a thirty minute meal. So you know, I like that. It gives us time to sit and do you know talk a little more. Sometimes on some of the more ambitious meals. I don't have a lot of time to sit down and talk, so this one was kind of nice. Just kind of hang out a little bit and get, you know, back into the swing. So, after the holidays and whatnot. And the cousin, Cooter, Judge Cooter, came in last week, so that was kind of a break. Anyway, I guess I should probably get on out of here. I appreciate everybody watching. I really do. Um, I hope I can see you guys next week as well. I mean, I guess I can't see you, but I hope you are all <laughs> coming to see me next weekend. Um, and I will go through this list of things that were um, you know, suggested and see which one of these I'm going to give to Cletus. Uh, some of them I might, I don't know. I'll see what Cletus is. <laughs> Maybe I'll just let Cletus decide what he's going to want. So anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Take care of yourselves. If you're a new subscriber and you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And without any of you guys, this channel would really be absolutely, uh, you know, for naught. So I appreciate it. Do me a favor. Go out and do something good in your neighborhood. Help out a neighbor. Shovel a walk. Um, help out a food bank. Do something. All right? Thank you, everybody. Have a good week. We'll see you next Saturday.